Hello everyone, welcome to the new season of Vibrant Energy here at the Code Chef's April Long Challenge 2021. Big techs like Amazon have eye on this big challenge. Let us pledge to learn new concepts through each problem. Go to the algorithm series. Uh, I've linked it below in the description. Uh, go check it out. It has everything that you need to solve any competitive programming questions. Do subscribe to my channel before you proceed. Uh, let, let us start discussing the problem binary string next. Just hold on till the end because I'll be giving you the exact visualization of what is needed to solve the problem. Okay, let's begin. Uh, you're given a binary string S. Now, a binary string X is X is something like one zero, something like this. So you are given a binary string S. Chef defines max of S. Max of S is defined as the smallest non-negative integer such that its binary representation is not a subsequence of max. Now, the uh, now what we need to find is we need to find max of X, right? We need to find max of x max of s now max of x is a non-negative smallest non-negative integer so it is an integer it's the smallest non-negative integer integer such that the value of this is not present in the subsequence just hold on in the next slide we'll learn about subsequences and what exactly it means let's just read the question till then uh sorry since the integer could be very large, find its binary representation without leading zeros. Without leading zeros basically means, suppose we have a binary representation of 1, that's 1. But we can add prior zeros to it, it would still be 1. So since it could cause error uh, in, ta in space, let us just uh, delete the prior zeros that we have. Uh, here the input test cases are explained. Uh, the first line of the input is just the test case, the number of test case and then following is the string, is the binary string that is provided. Uh, okay, we need to output the max in binary form, the smallest non-negative integer in binary form that is not there in the subsequence of this. Let us now visually, visually understand what the question means, right? Subsequences. Suppose you are given a string A, B, C. The subsequences of A, B, C are A, B, C, A, B, A, C, B, C and A, B, C. These are the subsequences of a given string A, B, C. Here, uh, now here you can have a visual understanding here. Cop is a subsequence of computer. Prom is also a subsequence of programmer. You can clearly see P-R-O-M. Uh, empty string is also known to be a subsequence, but let us not consider that 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 in this problem. So now we visually understand somewhat what subsequence means, and if we can, if we can find the subsequence of a given binary string, all the subsequence of a given binary string. Suppose this is our given binary string. We find all the subsequence of the binary string, and we somehow uh, check what is the minimum. A value non-negative integer that is not present in the subsequence that would be our desired answer would this brute force way the correct way let us see let us see is this method the correct way I don't think so but let us dive deep more into it uh, before we move let us look at the constraints why the brute force won't be applicable here why finding all the subsequence is a loss for us why it would give a TLE is because this the string length size is 10 to the power 6. If we try to find subsequence of a length 10 to the power 6, I'm sorry, sir, this is not going to happen in one second. This is not going to happen in our given time limit. So what is the other way you need to think about a binary string max? Let's see. Let's see. Let's just see. All right. In the given problem, our sample uh, input was given this. Our binary string was given 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 this is our binary string that is given right now can we find all the subsequence of this binary string what are the subsequence let's check it out 0 is a subsequence 1 is a subsequence 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 thousand 1001 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 all right this number is 11 actually 
so till 11 we can find we can see that all of the subsequences all of these are present in this in in the subsequence list of this but what about this value the 12 uh, which is 1100 is this subsequence present here can you find out can you see it is it present 1100 no it is not present 12 is the smallest non-negative binary representation that is not present in this subsequence of the given string hence the answer is 12 that is explained right here but the way I explained it, is it the way we are going to approach the problem? No, because if we try to find all the subsequence and then start checking that which value has the least, we would get a TLE, we would get a time limit exceeded in finding, just finding this, all of the subsequence. It would work for the first two sub cases, definitely it's going to work, but not for the original constant. So what? in what way if we think uh, can we approach to this problem is bit manipulation a way this is where i, I want you to think I, because this is your code you need to understand you need to learn the concepts and think uh, is bit manipulation a way can we think it out in some other way that we don't have to actually find all the subsequence but proceed subsequent finding is a brute force method is a correct method but not an optimized method so I encourage you from here, you start thinking that what is the other way of thinking. Uh, go to the algorithm playlist, see all of the algorithms there. Every algorithm is going to help you. Now, what are the key takeaways from this question? By bit manipulation, you need to think in bit manipulation to solve this beautiful question. Recursive calls, we have seen recursive calls. It's important subsequences we have learned about subsequence and start observing start observing the question every answer is hidden there so uh, thank you so much uh, i hope this video helped you in some way uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, i have linked all of the details below in the description do check it out thank you so much